Yo, what's Crackalack and Challenger? I'm your host, James Moreland. Today, we will actually be talking about this cool LG killer. As well as later in the video, we will be doing an update on the 10 gallon that I just made a video about, as well as maybe the salt water, maybe the other tanks. But yeah. So, this video will hopefully be awesome. A quick shout out to everyone on screen. Thank you guys for commenting on this video. Later on in the video, we'll have hashtags that you guys can comment to get a shout out, possibly on the next video. I wore this shirt to school today. No one really knew what it was, which is kind of kind of surprising. I mean, Aquarium Co-op, he's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, we will be talking about this awesome LG killer. I mean, it doesn't really kill LG, but it grows LG. And this is important for many reasons. So Santa Monica Aquatics, the company that actually reached out to me to send me this, they have multiple LG killer systems. Actually. There you can, oh, you can't even see it. I don't, I don't know why I ripped that off. I was kind of getting annoyed of it. <laughs> but I actually have some big plans with another tank, which is so exciting, but that's that's a different time. So they have multiple systems, and I have the Hog 1, and they have multiple ones. This is actually going to be going on my 29-gallon saltwater. But I was like, hey, I actually have a serious LG problem in this tank. Before I installed this, I actually had a heck ton of brown spot LG. As well as, I, I still have Blackbeard LG in this tank. I'm thinking about getting some Dwarf Grommies, because they're actually known to, to collect some of the brown beard LG and actually use it in their bubble nests. I'm pretty sure it was in this book. The Grommy has been known to rid aquariums of black bear algae infestations by using algae in bubble nests. So, that's awesome. And this is a quote from Rachel Lurie's book. I met her. I want to get this signed. She said maybe next time I come out to visit her, I can get it signed. But yeah, that's also what I use for my quick facts. Um, it's a really great book, and I've been reading about a lot of species, and it also helps me with the scientific name, and because, like, when I'm trying to decide my stockings, it helps. But that's on nano freshwater species. I mean, I kind of want to get some bigger fish, um, but yeah. Anyways, back onto the LG Killer. So, it's really cool. It's called HOG, or H-O-G, because that stands for hang on glass. And I feel like a lot of other things should be hang on the glass. Or hang on glass, not the glass. Because that stuff is revolutionary. L let me show you. So, I actually have another one of these systems. It uses magnets to hold your heater in place. So, you clip it on one side, clip it on the other side, and it holds it. And it's really futuristic. I mean, however futuristic magnets can be. But I mean, I think it's just cool instead of suction cups, because suction cups have been in the industry for a long time, or at least so I'm told. So yeah, hang on the glass, it's great, so it's using magnets to hold it close, and this is a relatively thick glass. I think it's, I think I'd say a quarter inch. So on the two sides, one of these actually grows the LG, the other is the light that like puts the light so the LG grows. I think I'm, I'm butchering that explanation, but this is basically what it looks like. It's a... Alright, I definitely have to do some cable management for the fish room. But this is one of the sides, I'm not going to take the other side, I mean, I might. It's only the fact that there's a lot of algae on the side. So, this is what it looks like. So, it's a little, like, plastic container. Um, it's, it's really cool. And then in the middle, you can see two LEDs. This is a smaller system, they have bigger systems, depending on your aquarium. Actually, this one isn't really rated for the 90 gallon. But I'm still using it. Actually, when you have bigger systems for bigger tanks or the bigger system for the smaller tanks, I mean, whenever you have them equal, it can actually reduce nitrate, which is awesome. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So it has two LEDs and what looks like two heat sinks, so that'll prevent it from overheating. So it looks like it has four magnets. Santa Monica filtration. But it has four magnets on it. And then on the other side, that's basically identical to this. Instead of having a cord, it actually has an airline hose because this entire thing is driven by air as well as this light. So what's actually in the aquarium and will be on the other side is, again, another sheet like this. And it actually has like an entire white surface. And this white surface is coarse. I think there's some sort of rock in there. But that actually helps grow algae really well. And I waited to do this video. And instead of doing an unboxing video, I decided to actually show it in use. So as you can see, the 90 gallon looks beautiful and you cannot see that much brown spot algae on the side. I have a magnetic algae scraper for this tank, but I haven't used it ever since I got this. And it is, in my opinion, a huge, awesome thing that, that happened. Like, I don't have to scrape it all the time. So that is awesome. And you might have noticed this in all the videos. Actually, speaking of which, uh, secret, secret little secret, there will actually be kind of like a re-aquascape on the 90 gallon soon. Yo. I feel like when I use the light, the tank looks bad, but when I use the light, I look better. Jeez. Maybe I need to get new lighting instead of just the ring light. Like if I get lighting around here, but the tank looks really nice. Who cares what I look like? But yeah, the LG has basically gone away. However, I still do have my, my Blackbeard LG. And I also use this product from Aquarium Co-op or from Cory. And this is actually the carbon, but I haven't been using it ever since I installed this, this killer, which is amazing. I feel like this started to work. Then I completely stopped using it in this tank and actually all my other tanks. And the LG has gone down on these tanks, but there's still LG in other tanks. So I don't know how to describe 
describe it, I would assume that this is the reason that I'm actually happy and that I, that I don't have tons of algae on the side of my tank, which is amazing. But yeah, this is cool. So it can work with both fresh water and salt water. And what you can actually do with the algae that it grows is actually use it as fish food. So that might be cool for another video if we have a project like that. Oh my gosh. Yo, that is this. This is the first time that I've actually taken that off and actually been able to look at the algae. And oh my goodness, we're gonna get the other camera and I'll be back in a sec. Now, if you guys want to shout out on the next video, do hashtag algae killer. And not only that, find a random comment in the comments down below and reply to them. Or try replying to one other person because I love to create this into a community. I love when we all work together. It would be awesome if every single comment had at least one reply from you guys. I try replying to every single one, but trust me, that is a lot of work. Especially when I'm at school and especially when I have to maintain my tanks. Alright, so here we go. Yo guys, here it is. Oh my gosh. Look at that algae. There's a huge clump right there. But you can actually see the growing surface, and this is actually on the glass. And this is air powered by this little air hose, and it actually pulls water up. So water is able to touch the entire pad. But yeah, that is actually pretty disgusting. So I might actually remove it for a day. Just so the fish have access to it and can actually eat it. Here's that algae scraper and I haven't had to use it, thank goodness. And this is the tank now and as you can see there's no algae on the glass. But there's the blackbeard algae. But actually I'm thinking about rescaping this entire tank, removing all the plants, removing all the rocks. Hydrogen peroxide dipping all the plants, trying to kill the blackbeard algae, maybe bleach dipping them. Remove the dragon stone, try getting some bigger pieces, move the driftwood. And then put some of these plants in different tanks instead of having this so packed in. This 55 is actually going to be a goldfish tank. And yo guys, some huge news. I actually just got a 60 gallon aquarium. My dad gave it to me. He got it a couple months ago and it was at his house, but then when he drove down here, he dropped it off. So that is amazing. So we're actually gonna be getting rid of this couch soon. It's been here if you've seen in the videos. It's kind of like a weird, I don't even know. I don't really like it. But we're actually gonna be moving the 60 gallon right here. And the 60 gallon is the same height as the 90 gallon. So it's gonna be big tank, small tank in the middle with the awesome Miranda goldfish. And then big tank right here, maybe discus? But that project will be done in like two or three months. It's not gonna happen now. However, I might move it down maybe this weekend. But then between the two, I'm actually gonna have like a wooden support and build my own shelf so I can keep all my fish equipment on there. And then we might be able to film from multiple angles over here. It would be a lot and a lot of fun. Oh yeah, guys, look at this. I set up most of the tank. You can see that one plant is messed up, but I actually put glass like lid. I don't usually keep lids in my aquariums, but I did and oh my goodness, I am in love with matte and filters. I need to even everything out, but guys, look at that. Yo, that is just beautiful. Like, it's so cool. This is going to be great for the betta fish. And someone said that dragonstone can actually cut them, which is great. And I didn't even really consider that, but I will actually be having a lot of plants on it. And I said I'll consider gluing some moss onto it, just so it's a little padded. Like, it'll be like a pillow, basically. But I'll actually be putting some black sand over this samurai soil, just so it covers up. And this is the LG I was talking about on the other tank, so y'all can see that. However, this tank has snails in it. This tank has no snails in it. Or at least each side. Actually, there's a, there are a couple snails, but not that many. And you guys, I bought this. It was like four bucks, but it's actually a four-way air converter because here's my pea puffer in this tank, peanut. What's crack lacking, peanut? I actually put a sponge filter in there, and everything is linked together. So the matte filter, this tank, this tank, I actually need to put another one in there. So it sure gets filtration. And then I might put one in here. But you can see the, the plants all growing perfectly. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Links will be down in the description for the LG Killer. It is great and I would really recommend it. There will also be links to some plants as well as maybe the book. I would really recommend you guys picking it up. You might find it at your local fish store, which is great because it's a really cool book. And that's what I do my quick facts with. So I'll catch you on the flippy flop. See you later. Bye.